Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to search some particular item from column in the data grip view using a text box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a text box which is uh, used for searching some particular word or name for example and according to our name in this data grid view values will be filtered in this data grid view so let's get started first of all what I will do is I will take a text box from here and drag and drop into my form and I will change the name of this text box as search underscore txt and I will also change the font size of this uh, text box okay now what you need to do is just double click this search box and in here we are going to write the code to search whatever word or whatever uh, item we will uh, write in this text box it will it should filter the word or the value and then filter the values in the data grid view and show us the result right so what i'm going to do first is in the video number 12 if you have remembered uh, and if you don't remember just see the video number 12 i have made the event called load table in the video number 12 where i have shown you how to link your data grid view with the mysql database right and in here i have declared a variable for data table which is db data set right what you need to do here is just select all this uh, declaration of uh, this variable db data set which is a new instance of data table and cut from here and just paste it at the top of your code where you have already defined mysql con and command uh, which are different instances of uh, mysql connection and mysql com command so just below this just cut your code this one and paste it here uh, because we want to make this as a global variable okay now once again just go to this search text box text change event and in here we are going to declare a variable dim dv as new data view and in here we are going to pass this new global variable which we have declared at the top so just copy this db data set from here and paste in this argument here okay now in the second line what we are going to do is we will copy this db from here and paste it here and we will say dot row filter is equal to string dot format and in the bracket we will pass two argument the second argument would be the name of this search text text box so just select this and copy the name of this text box from here and paste it here as a second argument dot text okay and the first argument here will be the name or the name of the column which you want to search in your data grid view so for example you want to search on the basis of uh, let me show you first i will run the program so for example i want to search on the basis of name column so whatever name i will write here on the basis of name it will match the content with these uh, all the columns of the name and so filter the result and show it in here okay so for example i write john here it will just show john row here okay 
so on the basis of name column name column i want to filter my data so this is my name column so what i will write here in the code in this double quote just write name and then write single quote and in between just give this brackets and just give here zero and in here just give two percentage signs so just write this and you need to write one more thing name like this okay so what this will do is it will search all the names which will which you will write in the search text box and then what it will do is we will transfer all the search data to the data grid view so we will write data grid view one dot data source is equal to db right so that's it these three lines will search whatever you enter in the search text box and filter the data and show it into the data grid view let's check whether it works or not so for example i want to search for the name john so when i enter the first letter j it will show all the results starting with j right and i want to search for the john so i will write j o h n and it search for only one row which is which contains the name john right for example i want to search for the name julie which is present two times in my list so i will write julie and you will see the result search result there are two names with the name julie right or for example i want to search for the name mark there are two marks or it shows that there are three names which start from m right so uh, search text box is working now so in this way you can search the data which you enter in the text box and filter the data and show it in the data grid view i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now